before this world existed, the first world lay in darkness and emptiness with the exception of six beings. They were first man, first woman, salt woman, fire god, coyote, and Begochidi, the child of the sun. Begochidi first created four mountains, white in the east, blue in the south, yellow in the west, and black in the north. But there was still no light. The first beings grew tired of this and decided to leave the first world. At the center of the first world, Bego Chidi planted an enormous seed, which grew into a tall, hollow reed. He then gathered all his creations and crawled inside. The reed grew out of the first world and into the second. The second world was light and blue. When the first beings emerged from the reed, they found a nicer place to live, but it was already occupied by the cat people. The first beings and the cat people fought for years and years, but in the end they couldn't overcome their differences. Again, Bego Chidi collected his beings and returned to the hollow reed. The reed grew on and on into the third world. The third world was yellow, beautiful, and full of light. The first beings rejoiced and built camps and had many children. Bego Chidi created rivers and lakes and mountains and all kinds of animals and birds. The first men and women lived there happily. One day, as Coyote was walking along the river, he found a baby, the child of the water monster of the third world. Coyote stole the baby and hid him under his blanket. When the water monster discovered his son was missing, he was furious. He sent vast rainstorms from all directions and flooded the third world. Bego Chidi and his creations ran back to the hollow reed to escape and forced Coyote to give back the baby. But it was too late. The third world was entirely flooded. Finally, the waters rose to the base of the fourth world. Locust helped to carve a hole into the next world, and all of Bego Chidi's creations crawled out to set up their houses again. Bego Chidi created mountains and set the moon, sun, and stars in the sky. This world was not as beautiful as the third, but it became the home of the Navajos. Bego Chidi taught men and women the right way to live, how to plant corn, squash, and beans, and how to give thanks for their harvests. <laughs>